Uh, Nawal from Saudi Arabia, she says that now we know that a person, and this is similar to um, the question of Muhammad and also similar to other questions, so I will say it in brief. The sunnah for the people who intend to sacrifice is that when the first day of the hijjah is due, they should refrain from clipping their nails or cutting any part of the hair of the body uh, uh, until they slaughter the sheep. This is the uh, sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alihi Wasallam. He told us not to do so. Now, this is only for the people who are going to slaughter. So if I'm going to slaughter my wife, my children, those who live under my roof, do not abide by the prohibition of clipping and cutting the, the hair because they're not slaughtering. I am the one who's slaughtering. So in this case, they can do whatever they want as long as it is permissible. Only me, the one who is going to do the slaughtering. Now we have a, a question from uh, Tuba, and she had also uh, yani a, a, a misunderstanding of the answer. Let's say that I am going to slaughter a cow. And this is also similar to the question of Muhammad from Saudi Arabia. A cow is equivalent to seven sheep. A camel is equivalent to seven sheep. And this is what the Prophet told us. So if seven families participate and they both share in a cow and they slaughter it, this does for the sacrifice. Otherwise, each one would buy a sheep for his own family. Now, let's assume that I am wealthy and I'd like to sacrifice a cow from, for my whole uh, family. So does my wife fall under the prohibition of clipping the nails and cutting the hair? If she requested me to do this and I'm volunteering to do that, yes, she has to refrain. But if she didn't, it's only me who is doing this as a form of getting closer to Allah Azza wa Jal by slaughtering this sacrifice. They're not obliged to refrain from that. And I hope this answers the question.